Hey y'all, I am out in my yard. It's a little bit warm and kind of cool this evening. I've been in the office, so I put red chicken on to cook in the crock pot. I know y'all made that with me several times. And I have got this stuff, it's called pepper vine. Oh. Look how much of this I've pulled out of my crepe myrtle. Ugh. I say pulled, I'm having to cut it because it grows from the bottom up and then it actually has little fingers that come out and wrap around your crepe myrtle. So I am having a time. It's called pepper vine. And I don't like it. It has little berries on it. Here it is. I'm going to show y'all the berries. My chickens will eat whatever berries they can reach. But all these are up top. And this is only one of many crepe myrtles in my yard that has this. I don't know where it came from. I really don't. So maybe a bird transplanted it. So anyway, that's what I'm up to. And I just got red chicken in a crock pot. Um, it's back down to John and me. So we've got an empty nest once again. <laughs> Addie did come over this afternoon and walked with me in all the pasture. Um, I came out of the office and... She came over here. Her mom and daddy brought her. They were picking up a few things that they hadn't gotten from moving. So, we're gonna try to keep that up and I'm glad. I'm glad I love it and she loves it, walking. Let's see. See, I'm having a time. I'm having to trace where these things are coming up in this crepe murder. I'll show you what I'm talking about. got these things that it'll put off and wrap around my crepe myrtle see so I'm having to find those and cut those <laughs> oh boy so I don't like pepper vine no I don't oh my goodness so yeah you can't just pull it out because you'll mess up your crepe myrtle so you have to find it and cut it out it's a project, isn't it? I wonder if any of y'all have dealt with this pepper vine. I looked it up. It says it's native in Texas, and they are our neighbors, so I see why we have it. But I had never seen it before till this year. That's crazy. Crazy stuff. Y'all see it's way up here. A big old bunch of it. I've got to trace it down. I cut its root. But, let's see, it's got several little fingers here. Curly cues. Alright, come here. You are a booger of a plant, I tell you. What are you attached to? There you go. All right, the rest of y'all, come on. Time to get out. Give me my crepe myrtle back. We live out here in the country. These crepe myrtles I dug up on the side of the road out here in the country. <laughs> My sister Renee and I did. We were pregnant. I was pregnant with Tyler and she was pregnant with my nephew Seth. And uh, she and I would go along in the country. You can just see stuff at old house places. And it would be growing in the ditch, like not actually up on the property, um, where it had just been little seedlings come up. So she and I would stop and get them. Well, dig them. Oh. Okay, come on. Anyway, y'all, I was just going to hop on here and tell y'all what I'm up to. And 
We're just going to have that red chicken tonight. It's just some chicken breast in the crock pot with a can of my favorite tomato. Um, spaghetti seasoning. Spaghetti sauce. I know we make a homemade one together, but I do this on an easy night. I just dump it from a jar. And I put a jar of pimentos and some spaghetti seasoning, a little packet. And it's so good over some penne pasta with some Parmesan on it. So that's what we're going to do tonight. And I'm just silly and call it red chicken. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to keep on pulling with this and I have got... One, two, three, four more crate myrtles to fight with and save. And I'll see y'all next time.